Hello guys, my name is Sharuk. In this video, I will be showing you what is IP event dampening. What is the use of this feature and how we can configure this feature. So today's topic is IP event dampening. IP event dampening. Let's assume there are four routers connected. R1 is connected with R2, R2 is connected with R3, R3 is connected with R4. On this entire four routers, on this entire domain, we are running, let's say, EIGRP. Here the network is 10, here the network is 20, here the network is 30. On R1, there is a network 1.1.1.1. This, this link is fast ethernet, this is also fast ethernet, and this is also fast ethernet. R1 has advertised this 1.1.1 in its EIGRP. So R2 will receive this route via R1. Similarly, R2 will give this route to R3. Similarly, R3 will give this route to R4. Now R4 can reach this one network via R3. R3 can reach this one network via R2. R2 can reach this one network via R1. Similarly, R4 can also reach this network, that is 10 network via R3 because we have advertised this network also in AIGRP. Similarly, R3 can also reach this network and network via R2. Now what happened? This link goes down. So what will happen? R2 will inform to its neighbor that now the network N network and the network 1.1.1 is now unreachable. Similarly, R3 will inform to its neighbor to R4 that the network N network and the network 1.1.1 is now unreachable by him. If R4 is connected, let's say to some other routers, here also EIGRP is running. So R4 will inform to its neighbor that this network 10 and 1 network is now unreachable. Now, after some time, let's say this link came up. This link is up now. So what R2 will do, R2 will inform to its neighbor to R3 that this network, 10 network and 1, now it's reachable. R3 will inform to its neighbor that this network, N network and 1.1 is reachable. If R3 is connected with some routers, let's say R5, so R, R4, R3 has informed to R4, similarly R4 will inform to its neighbor that this 10 network and this 1 network is now reachable. Let's say this link is flapping frequently. This link is flapping in every 10 second, 20 second, 25 second. Let's say this link is flapping. So what R2 will do? R2 will keep informing to its neighbor that now this link is up. That means now N network and one network is reachable because R2 is learning this network 1.1.1 via R1. And R1 has become neighbor on this link. So if this link goes down, that means R2's neighbor, that is R1 will now be down. And if R1 is down, and, in, and if for R2, the R1 neighbor is down, that means R2 has learned this network 1.1.1 via R1. So R2 will withdraw this route from its routing table. So this link is flapping frequently. So what R2 will do, R2 will keep informing to its neighbor that this link is up, this link is down, this link is up, this link is down. Similarly, R3 will keep informing its neighbor that this link is up, this link is down. If R4 is connected with R5, so R4 will keep informing to its neighbor that now this link is up, now this link is down. So what is happening over here? Our network is unstable over here because this link is flapping frequently and all of the routers are, be, are busy in processing this that now they can reach 10 network and one network, now they can't reach. Now they can reach, now they can't reach. 
so our network is now unstable because of this link because this link is not stable is impacting our entire domain let's say if there are 20 routers connected so this information will be passed to all of these 20 routers the second thing you can see over here that the processing load on all the routers will increase because all are busy in processing that now they can reach now they can't reach now they can reach now they can't reach because if uh, let's say if r4 has learned this route 1.1.1 so what r2 r4 will do uh, r4 will first of all calculate the metric that what is the metric to reach this then it will in it, that in then it will install this route into its routing table and again r3 will tell to r4 now that he can't reach to 1.1 now again r4 will withdraw it again r3 will say now he can reach uh, 1.1 then again r4 will do its calculation it will install its routing table and again r3 told him that now he can't reach so what is happening the load on all of these routers are increasing because of this link is flapping so we have a feature called ip event dampening what this feature will do see what ip event dampening will do whenever this link is whenever this link is flapping so what r2 will do let's say we go on r2 on this interface and we have assigned this feature ip event dampening over here so what r2 will do whenever this link flap so r2 will assign a penalty to this link let's say the penalty is now 100 so when first time this link has flap so r2 has assigned a penalty of 100 the second time this link will flap so r2 will assign more penalty of 100 that means now it is 200 the third time it will flap so it will add more 100 now it becomes 300 let's say we have defined a maximum threshold as 450 what is this we will discuss is what maximum threshold is what this maximum threshold says that if my penalty exceeds by 450 so what my router will do what r2 will do r2 will suppress this link that means r2 will remove this interface from its routing table what r2 will do r2 will suppress this link that means r2 will r2 will remove this sorry r2 will remove this interface from its routing table and if this interface is not present in the routing table so now r2 can't advertise this to r3 similarly r3 can't advertise this to r4 and if r4 is connected with some router so r4 can't advertise this to its neighbor because now what has happened now this link has suppressed this link is not present in my routing table and if this link is not present in my routing table that means uh, that means EHRP is not running now on this link and if EHRP is not running that means yeah, R2 can't advertise this to its EHRP neighbor because currently now this link is not present in my routing table. So with IP event dampening we can achieve this that, if, that for each and every flap what my router will do my router will assign a penalty to this interface and if my penalty reaches a certain limit so what my router will do my router will suppress that link that means my router will remove this interface from its routing table and if this interface is not present in my routing table that means my router can't advertise to its neighbor okay so this is a feature ip event dampening there are some parameters over here We will discuss that parameters. This feature is similar to as BGP dampening, but in BGP dampening, we are suppressing the prefix that, is, that means the route, but over here we are suppressing the link. See. There are four values over here which administrator can configure. The first is half-life. The first is half-life time. The second is reuse value. The third is 
suppress value that means the maximum threshold I am defining the fourth is maximum suppress time see what happened this is r1 this was this is r1 connected with r2 connected with r3 now i had gone on r2 and on this interface i configured this feature how to configure we will see it's just a one command i had gone on r2 and i've configured this feature ip event dampening so what will happen when this link goes down r2 will assign a penalty to this interface and what is the penalty by default the penalty is 1000 you cannot change this value it is fixed default value which is fixed of penalty 1000 what r2 will do r2 will assign a penalty of 1000 to this interface let's say after five seconds this interface has flapped again so r2 will assign more thousand penalty now the penalty came 2000 if it flap again so now it came 3000 if it flap again so now it will be 4000 and this my penalty will be increasing so what are these all four parameters half-life reuse suppress value see why this maximum threshold came in picture let's say this link has flapped for once so my router has assigned a penalty i don't want that if this link flapped once so my router should suppress this link because this can be a normal flap it has flapped only once so i don't want that my router should just suppress the link so what I'm doing, I'm assigning a maximum threshold. Let's say the maximum threshold was 5,000, let's say. When my penalty will reach to 5,000, when this link will be flapped five, five times. That means now this link is stable and I don't want now my router should advertise this interface to its neighbor. So this is what maximum threshold that I'm defining one limit one maximum penalty limit I am assigning, I'm saying to, to my router that if this penalty reaches this limit only, then only you should suppress this interface. If it flap for once, if it flap for two twice, so there, so I'm thinking that it can be a normal flap. There can be issue with the links. I don't want that my router should immediately suppress that link. My router should wait if it flap for five times because when it, because when, when this interface will flap for five times, so my penalty will reach to five thousand. And if my penalty is exceeding, and if my penalty is exceeding this number, then what will happen? My router will suppress this link. That means the interface. So this is what the maximum threshold is. Now, what are the other three parameters? See the default value you will find over here will be 2000. Now what is the use of half-life time over here? See, let's say my penalty is 1000. Now first of all we will discuss what is reuse value. See. Now my penalty has reaches to let's say 6000 and my default threshold was 2000. So what my router has does, my router has suppressed this interface. That means my router has removed this interface from its routing table. Now what I'm let's say the reuse value is 1000 and default is also 1000. What does this 1000 means? When this penalty will come below this number, that is 1000, 
so what my router will do now my router can trust this link that means now my router can unsuppress this link that means now my router can put this interface back to in its routing table and if this link is once again present in my routing table so my router can advertise now to its neighbor so this is the use of reuse value because i don't want that this link should be unsuppressed for permanently there should be a some time after some time my router should unsuppress this link so when my router will unsuppress this link when this penalty comes below this number that is the reuse value then only my router will unsuppress this link now how now the question is how this number will come below this number that is the reuse value 1000 for that we are having half life what does this half life means default half life you will see the default reuse is 1000 default half life is 5000 what does this mean see let's say my penalty is 5000 my penalty is 5000 so after this half life time expires means after 5 seconds my penalty will be my penalty will become half that means now it will become 2500 again after 5 seconds my penalty will become half that means now it has become 1250 after 5 seconds also my penalty will become half that means now it is 1250 it was earlier so now it will be 625 now this 625 is below this 1000 that means now my router can unsuppress this interface so this is how your penalty reduces default is 5 seconds that means whatever your penalty is if your penalty was let's say 10,000 so after this time expired your penalty will become half if it was 10,000, so now it will be 5,000. Now the last parameter is maximum suppress time. See, the default maximum suppress time you will see is 20, 20 seconds, which is four times the HL. HL means half life. 4 into 5 that is 20 because the half life is 5 second so it will be multiplied by 4 so the answer is 20 second so the maximum suppress time default is 20 second if i am keeping all these parameters default so the maximum suppress time will be 20 second what this is maximum suppress time means if my interface is suppressed let's say the penalty was anything let's say it was 10000 and because this penalty exceeds this threshold my interface was suppressed see now my interface will be suppressed for maximum of 20 second only after 20 second my router knows now he need to unsuppress this interface so this is what maximum suppress time is that how long your interface will be suppressed okay see there are mm, there are relation with all of these numbers because you cannot say like this if i am saying half life time as let's say i will configure half life as 60 second and i will go over here and i will make maximum suppress time as 10 second so how my router can take decision because let's say if my penalty is let's say if my penalty is 10000 that means after 60 second only it will become only 5000 and here i am saying to my router that you should maximum suppress this interface just for 10 seconds so this will be conflicting because i am saying to my router that this interface should be suppressed just for 10 seconds and i am defining over here my half life that is 60 second that means after 60 second only my router will make this penalty half which is not beyond the reuse value also it will just become to 5000 so it is not like that all of these values are in relation with each other if you change the uh, if you change any one value so it will automatically impact the other value you will get an error message while if you are changing these parameters that your router will say no you have to define this value in uh, beyond this limit only 
because in the background there are some formulas my router is doing some calculation my router knows now that whatever penalty is now let's say the penalty is 10,000 my, my router has done calculation he knows now that after 20 second I can now unsuppress this link because my router is doing internally calculation okay so now we will see some practical of this how to configure this feature let's say I will go on R1 see on fast internet 0 slash 0 there is the IP n.0.0.1 to configure this feature I just need to go on interface C right now configured only the IP addressing over here this interface is present in my routing table okay now what I will do I will go on this interface and I will enable this feature to enable this feature I just need one command that is dampening after dampening I can specify the all the parameters also but if I don't specify the parameters my router will take the default value how to check it command will be show interface dampening see the first is flap this interface has not flapped till now that means so it is the flap is showing zero if it flap once so it will be one well. penalty is zero right now my router has not assigned any penalty over here suppress state what is the state of this suppress it is false that means my router has not suppressed this link till now what is the use time just ignore it for now see i said you the half life time by default is five seconds this value is in second it is not in minutes it is by default five seconds the reuse value the reuse value is default 1000 the suppress value what is the suppress value default it is 2000 maximum suppress time what is the maximum suppress time it is 20 second which is four times the half life maximum penalty this penalty can reach whatever penalty is over here this penalty can reach a maximum of 16,000 if this interface flap for 100 time also so the maximum penalty my router can assign is 16,000 only what is this restart just ignore for now by default see by default restart it disable if you want you can enable it what I'm saying to my router that if my this system boots up that means if my if my this system if my this router restart so I need I will assign a penalty immediately to this interface so this is what restart by default it is disabled if I want I can enable it and I can assign a penalty also that after restarting this system what penalty should my router assign to it now what I will do I will first shut this interface and I will show you that my router has a penalty before shutting this interface will enable debug the command will be debug dampening interface interface fast is then at 0 slash 0 shut no shut see the flap count is 1 because this link has flap only for one time what my router has sent a penalty is it has sent a penalty of 1000 and this interface is not suppressed because when it will be suppressed when this penalty exceeds this suppress value that is 2000 then only my router will suppress this link so interface dampening see this penalty is reducing continuously Now it will be zero. Yeah. Now it has become zero. Because my router will keep decrementing this penalty. Now I will shut unshut this interface for the couple of times so that my penalty exceeds the threshold that is 2000. Okay. Interface fast is at zero. 
shot, no shot, shot, no shot, shot, no shot, shot, no shot, shot, no shot. Show interface dampening. Show IP root. See what has happened. I have shut and shut this interface for the couple of times. See where was my last shut and shut? See, this was my last shut and shut. So at that time, my penalty was 2594. That means this penalty exceeds my threshold. That means my this interface will be suppressed. See, when my penalty was 2594, so what my router has done? My router has suppressed this interface. See, when, when I have done show interface dampening, at that time there were five flaps. One flap was earlier which I have done and now I have done continuously four flap. At this time my penalty was 1489. Suppress is true because right now my router has suppressed this interface. Why? Because the, route, because the penalty has exceed 2000. It has gone to 2594 so my router has suppressed this interface. Now see what is this reuse time? What does reuse time is saying? My router will unsuppress this interface in next three seconds. Means when this three seconds expire, my router has done calculation. My router knows now that after this three seconds, he needs to unsuppress this interface. This is the reuse value, this is a suppress value solo, this is the maximum suppress time, this is maximum penalty. See, till now my, my router has suppressed this interface. So I have done show IP route and when I have done show IP route, this route is not present in my routing table. Why? Because the suppress state is true. That means my router has removed this interface from its routing table. And now if there is no interface in my routing table, that means my router cannot advertise this link to any of its neighbor because this interface is as good as down because it is not present in my routing table. If I'm running EIGRP, so at that time till the interface will be present in my routing table, that means uh, on this interface there is no EIGRP running till now, till it comes back into my routing table. Because if it comes back in my routing table, then only R1 will start advertising this network to its neighbor. So interface dampening. See now the penalty has came to zero. The suppress state is false. And if the suppress state is false, that means now this router now this router can put this interface back into its routing table. And if it interfaces back, if I'm running some of the routing protocols, so now my router can advertise this network to its directly connected neighbor. So this is how your IP event dampening feature works. There is a single command. If you want to change the setting, you can change that also. You just need to go on interface. After dampening, see, you will find some of the options. Uh, half life time for the penalty. Let's say I will double it. I have put 10 seconds. Value to start reusing. Let's say I'm defining anything 750. Value to start suppressing, when to suppress, let's say I've defined 2500, maximum duration to suppress, let's say I am defining 20. See my router has taken all of these parameters because my router knows now, my router has done some calculation internally, my router knows now these parameters fits into its formulas. If I have given some random numbers, let's say uh, if I have given here, let's say 20,000. If my router is giving me an error, then no, the maximum penalty can be is 3,000 is less than the suppressed penalty 20,000. Increase maximum suppressed time. It is saying me, no boss, you need to increase the suppressed time because as you are giving me the parameters, it is not fitting in my formulas. I cannot use these parameters. parameters. So you need to what do? You need to increase the suppressed time. 
So this is how you can change all these parameters over here. Let's say I have what I have given earlier. Let's say 2500. 2520. I have given this. Now I'm going to show interface dampening. So see the half life time will become 10 second. The reuse value has came to 750. The suppressed value I have given is 2500. And the maximum suppressed time I have given is 20. According to this formula, now this time my router can only assign a maximum penalty of 3000. Earlier it was assigning to 16,000 if the if all these parameters are default, but now if I'm changing all of this value So my, my router has done some calculation now. He knows now To this interface I can assign a maximum penalty of 3000 only Because my router knows now after half lifetime He needs to reduce the penalty by half and that penalty should become and that penalty should be a number and that number should be like that that this interface can be unsuppressed within after once this maximum time expires. That means if 20 seconds expire, my router knows now you need to put this interface back to in its routing table. So my router has done some calculation. So this is how you configure dampening. If you want to enable this restart option also. So after this parameters there is an option see restart enable restart penalty you just need to go you just need to type restart and what should be the penalty when this uh, system boots up let's say i'm giving penalty of let's say 1100 now if i have done show interface dampening okay whenever now this interface whenever now this router boots up so my router will assign a penalty of 1100 so this is how ip event dampening works so I have shown you what is IP event dampening, what is the use of it, IP event dampening. With IP event dampening, my network can be stable now. How it can be stable? Because now when this interface is flapping, so R2 will not advertise this to its neighbor. And if R2 will not advertise to its neighbor, if this interface exceeds the threshold value so arthric can't advertise to its neighbor and if arthric can't advertise to its neighbor r4 can't advertise to its neighbor so my now so my so right now my network is stable over here because i'm not continuously telling all of the routers that now this link is available this network is available now this network is down now this network is up now this network is down i'm continuously not informing to my neighbors i'm waiting for my penalty to to be my i'm waiting for the penalty to become lower than reuse value if my penalty comes below reuse value then only what my router will do as i said you it will unsuppress this link and if this link is now unsuppressed my router can inform to its neighbor <coughs> so this is the advantage of it and if it's not informing to its neighbor continuously so what will happen the load of the uh, what i am doing i'm reducing the processing load on all of this router so this is it for the ip event dampening thank you guys i will see you in the next video